Midnight Raven here and today we are doing a pocket letter showing this is my fourth video now for pocket letters and I've had such good response um, that I made some more. So if you don't know what pocket letters are, they're basically like a pen pal kind of exchange craft thing. I don't know how to explain them. Um, you can get big pocket letters which are nine holes or you can get midi kind of mid ones which are six or you can do just a mini um, three pockets. I'm tending to do the smaller ones at the minute although I do want to do some big ones. Um, I'm doing the small ones so they follow a theme. If I do some bigger ones they will probably be more random. So I like these ones to follow a pattern although if I did a big one I would probably just do it random if I didn't have enough stickers maybe to do a big one. Um, it takes quite a lot of stickers and embellishments and everything to do a nine pocket letter one. So I don't know um, whether I'd be able to get a theme and enough together to do a bigger one. So the small one I'm going to show you first um, is something um, that my boy would love and it's a transport theme one. So I did one of these um, because my boy loves transport. Um, and he also wants to be a fireman when he grows up. So this is my kind of transport themed pocket letter. So first of all, here we have the fire engines along with a blue bow. Um, we have a fire engine, we have a helmet and stuff. So I kind of like that one. Um, at the top it says, um, oh my god. And then at the bottom one it says save. So that was kind of going with the whole fireman theme. The middle pocket letter I've gone for like a building kind of site. So these are kind of services ones more than transport, you know, kind of a thing. So we've gone for diggers and helmets and stuff. And we've got a gold border to go with the yellow. And then on this one, we've gone for a policeman one. Um, on the policeman one, it says save, uh, at the bottom it says best, um, and we've got hats and lights and stuff. So I thought that was kind of cute. It's kind of a kidsy one, but I thought it was cute nonetheless. So that's that one. And then the next pocket letter I did was a kind of vintage theme. I don't know how to quite go about it, but it looks like this. So we have the brown bow to start with and then in this one we've gone for a kind of music vintage theme. So you've got these instruments that look a bit dated. So we have an accordion, we have a harp. Um, in the middle we have what looks to be a piccolo. We have a piano, we have a cello. I thought these looked really cool as a kind of vintage music theme and it says muse music or musy. Um, I used to play flute at high school so I love the whole music scene. In the middle I've gone for like vintage food so you've got like tea cakes, you've got french fancies, you've got meat and potato pie and on it it just says smile and, and you've got a happy face there which I thought was quite cool. And then in the last one we've gone for like a vintage like like a vintage tea party We've got the girl outside drinking her tea with the cats. Um, we've got some flowers and everything. So we've got like a vintage tea look. I wasn't really sure what I was going for with this one. Um, but I think it works well. The whole vintage S, the musical instruments, the food and the kind of vintage tea garden look. Um, it wasn't my best one, but I do love it. And as you know... Um, I take criticism, so if you don't like them, you can comment down below if you want and tell me that you don't like them. Um, but the thing is with pocket letters, um, every design is different, every person is unique in their designs, which is what makes pocket letters so interesting that they're all unique. And the last one was another Halloween one. I know I've done a Halloween one already, but I have so much left over from Halloween. So we've gone for, again, a brown bow, and this time we've gone for a skeleton romance says spooky at the top and this one says okay and this one says no and then down at the bottom we've got skeleton declaring his love and we've got the two little cheerleader skeletons here saying yes and no 
which I thought was kind of cute. And then we just have a glittery heart. In the middle, we've gone for a kind of spooky kind of ghost theme. So we've got the word creepy. We've got some cute bats. We've got this ghosty here. And we've got the little rat at the bottom. And then in the last one, we've gone for like a scary Halloween scene. We've got the pumpkins. We've got the kitties. We've got a gravestone. So we've gone for a sort of a grave theme. It says trick or treat as well at the bottom. Do love the little cheeky pumpkins there with the smile. And obviously we've gone for a black border and then a brown in the middle for like the graveyard. And then we've gone for more black. And I thought this was quite cute as well. So if you like my pocket letter videos, you can check out my playlist. I will link it at the end. Um, if you're new to pocket letters, it's quite fun. I'm enjoying myself and I'm enjoying talking to all the people out there that love pocket letters as well. They're a great little community and I would love to... Um, talk to more of you out there who love pocket letters. So if you want to like, subscribe to my channel and share it with all your pocket letter friends, that would be awesome. If you want to comment down below on any of my designs or any designs you would like to see, feel free to do so as well. It also helps us to give each other inspiration. I have another pocket letter haul coming very soon as well, but I've done another one already. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you very soon for another pocket letter video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.